I'm having a great time. I think we're all having a pretty good time here tonight. Let's talk about a couple of things. Lifetime achievement. Let me break that down here. What's the achievement? Yeah, look around you. This is the achievement. This is what this girl has fought his entire life for. Okay? That's the achievement part of this. Let's talk about that life for just a second. I joined this movement 30 years ago. Dennis Perone at that time was our champion. He was our champion because he was running big pop clubs in San Francisco. And nobody else anywhere in this country could touch that, could go near that. Dennis was doing it. He had the island, he had the big top, huge enterprises. Dennis was fighting with the cops. And he was surviving. And the cops hated him for this. Dennis was a hippie. He was a proud gay man. Always, always out there. Okay. Dennis was fighting to change the law all the way back, 1977. San Francisco, he passed Proposition W, first California local initiative, telling the cops to leave marijuana smokers alone. For that, he has been their enemy number one and our champion. He was always fought to change these laws. Let's jump forward to the AIDS crises in the 1990s. San Francisco was the epicenter of that, and a lot of people were dying and a lot of people were suffering. Dennis was right there, the whole time, working to serve those people, to supply marijuana from all over Northern California, right into the epidemic, and he helped a lot of people at the end of their life. But once again, he's a political guy. Dennis collected signatures and put Proposition P on the ballot in San Francisco. That was the nation, that was America, that was the world's very first medical marijuana law change. And it won. It gets better. It works. In this epidemic, in the middle of the AIDS epidemic, when people were dying and people were crying, and it was really, really bad, something very good came out of that. Dennis stood up and he started the very first cannabis virus club in America. He said, I'm going to sell marijuana to these people, and I'm going to go to jail for it if that's the way it's going to be. I don't care. And he really thought he was going to go to jail. You know, we didn't think 10 people were going to come. And it turned into 8,000 people. But once again, Dennis is a political man. And just selling pot to 8,000 people wasn't enough. Just putting a new face on marijuana wasn't enough. Dennis then went out, and he collected 800,000 signatures, with, with a lot of help, I will add, but he inspired everybody to do this. And he put Proposition 215 on the ballot in California. And the rest is history, okay? The rest is history. For this, we have the best prop law in the world right now. And I urge you all to defend that hard. Dennis, to run one last thing I want to say about Dennis. He comes up here. In addition to being a great politician and a great activist, Dennis Perron is a great man and a great friend to myself and to many, many, many other people. You know, he has touched so many people one by one by one. He has led a very different life. Thank God we got this guy. I wrote a great book about Dennis Perron. You can download it from Amazon.com. Look, Dennis Perron, memoirs. Just type his name and you'll get it. They say, last thing, they say, you know, my friend earlier today was saying it's a little known fact, but Dennis Perron was the secret force behind Harvey Will, the very first elected gay politician in America. Okay, with no further ado, I want to introduce Dennis Perron to receive from High Times Magazine. Another group of people, I might add, who has been there at the forefront of this movement for many, many, many decades. To receive the Lifetime Achievement Award. And I want to just 
a warm congratulations and thank you from all of us to Dennis Perron.